Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this FCPX tutorial. So this was by request and it's going to be a really, really quick tutorial. And what I'm going to show you to do is um, basically somebody's watched my um, Learn 3D or 3D Text Explained in Motion 5. I'll put the link on the screen if you haven't seen it. Um, and they want to know how to, once they've bought it into FCPX, how to make it move or give it movement within FCPX. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, right now as requested, as promised. So, um, I've got my um, sort of 3D text here, and there's a few ways that I can make it move, right? I can do the scale here, on my, so in my inspector on the right hand side of my um, FCPX, so I've highlight the clip that I want, so you notice it's in yellow around the outside, and I get my inspector view on the right hand side here, make sure I'm on video, and I can change the rotation with this little rotation button here, or I can change the position by going up and down here like this or like this now you can even set anchor points so it sticks to a certain point and it anchors to a certain point so I can scale it up or scale it down like this and if I open the scale I can then do my um, Y and um, sorry my X and my Y axis um, so that's one way that I can make movement um, another simple way to make movement is um, firstly click this little transform button here so highlight the, um, the, the the part that you want click the little transform button here and this way I can change the size but what I can also do is I can rotate like this so that's really easy to do so if I wanted it in the corner like this, I'm sort of guessing that you want it as a um, a sort of screen overlay. Go back to my transform, and I can edit it like this. Now if I want to keyframe this, so I want to do it in certain um, movements, all I'm going to do is right here in my timeline, so I want it to move on its own, right? Here in my timeline, let me just drag this back up here. Here in my timeline, with this selected, I'm going to leave it in this as it is here. In fact, let me show you how to bring it in. So I'm gonna bring it from here, right? So I'm gonna click, make sure my timeline's highlighted. Click this little button here to add a keyframe. Move along in my timeline. Drag this over here. And it will automatically add another keyframe. Move along in my timeline drag this here like this and if I move it up or down it will change the arc so I could even grab this keyframe and change the location of this if I wanted to I'm gonna move along in my timeline keep my timeline because I messed with this keyframe here it hasn't added this keyframe so if I now move this it will still add the keyframe for me so then I want to move it to here. But on the way, I want it to spin like this. This this much. Spin some more, spin some more, spin some more. And I want it to stay like that. Cool. Now, here, then I want it to move. Here, I want it to move again. Here, I want it to move again. And by here, I want it to move again and grow a little bit. And that's me done. Now if I play through my timeline. Really, really simple set of movement. So, play through it again. Final time. There we go. Really, really easy, um, and I hope this is exactly what you wanted. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later.